So I had the chance to do a work experience for a project that has a lot of engineering aspects to it that a project normally doesn't have. Hi, I'm a second year doing civil engineering at the University of Plymouth and recently I did an infrastructure work experience with Balfour Petty. How did I get this? The university partners up with companies around Devon area to give students experience relevant to their degree and sort of build up their resume. They usually do this in three cycles, which is winter, spring, and summer. I did this last winter. And they have a career service webpage where they advertise their internships and you have to send in your CV, your cover letter, a 200, 300 word essay on why you're the best man for the job. Now, most companies don't necessarily partner up with universities, but it's, this was easier. What is this project? This project is basically a one kilometer road that connects the city center to the north of Plymouth where the main hospital, the science park and a lot of things are. And it's really, really important for the new shops, facilities and homes that are being built in the next 15 years up there. In this project, there's three companies working together. There's Acom for the designing part, there's Balfour Betty for the con as the contractor and WSP as the supervisor. What did I do there? I mainly shadowed site engineers on four different teams, which is the roadworks team, the earthworks team, the structures team, and the materials team. I learned about their day-to-day -day responsibilities, the software, the equipments they use, and I got to be very hands-on with them, like pushing a button or measuring cracks in the wall. So the first day, the orientation day, I got my schedule for the next two weeks, and that was according to my lecture schedule that I've sent them beforehand, so nothing really clashed. I got introduced to everyone, I familiarized myself with the site. I also got a student handbook where I had to write what I did on that day, who I did it with and what I learned from it. I would show it to you, but I'm supposed to, I submitted it, but I'm supposed to get it back in a few weeks by post. With the roadworks team, we went through the basic principles of setting out mainly curbs. We saw the link between drawings and the site and I helped mark where the lampposts were gonna go. For Earthworks team, we had a run through of how a model was generated for machine control, we demonstrated a specific area by correlating or checking with the GPS, oversight of volume measurement and quality measurement, carrying out a check, raising or amending check sheets on the BIM 360, like sub base dipping and bench inspection. With the structures team, we did setting out and control of structure, checking reinforcements, concrete, volume estimate for pour or makeup, oversight of lifting operations, and temporary works check. I also attended an SIAC meeting for short-term planning. For the materials lab, I did a lot of tests, which included sieving aggregates, crushing cues, a lot of which we've already done at university. Sampling, testing, compaction, concrete slumping, digging and bagging samples. Another thing that I learned during this internship was project management or construction management where I was introduced to Microsoft Project and this is something we're going to do in the second semester of our second year. And another thing that I really 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 liked about this project was the environmental aspect of it. They built shelves for beavers and the stream was kept so fish can come, lay their eggs and then swim back to the ocean. Fences were put up for deers and what was the other thing? 4,000 trees being planted, over 4,000 trees being planted. Finally, on the last day, we did a wrap up session where I got feedback I, and I got to give feedback. I talked about my future career choices with the project manager and did a lot of networking, connections, LinkedIn stuff. And finally, what did I learn from this internship? do one see if you're ready for this if you won't really want to do this for the rest of your life okay not the rest of your life because the idea that you're going to stick to one thing for the rest of your life is limiting and unpractical but it's good to see what you're studying for so once you get into the industry the one thing you're going to hear over and over and over again is to ask questions and there's no such thing as a dumb question which i failed at and I understand why it's so important because apparently once you get a job or a role, you're, they're just not gonna tell you how to do it. They're just gonna give you context of people who have done it or people who have the job before you. And you're gonna have to call them and ask them how to do it. And yeah, it's good to make, it's good to talk to people. Just make sure you don't do any mistakes. And um, one of them said that, you know, it's okay to do mistakes. That's how you're gonna learn, but make sure your mistakes don't cost a lot of money 
And that, kids, is the key to be an engineer. I don't want to be an engineer.